Installing and programming the garage door opener system on the S-Class W221 start by removing the inside rear view mirror. To do this, unscrew the two mounting screws located in the spectacles compartment. Once the screws are removed, take off the mirror. It's advisable to have a colleague on hand to hold the overhead control panel. Make sure the overhead control panel does not hang down, as the cables could break. The inside rearview mirror with integrated remote control features three transmit buttons and an indicator lamp. Using a suitable tool, push the mirror into its mounting. Next, reconnect all the contacts and connect the power supply cable. Reattach the microphone for the hands-free system. Tighten the screws for the overhead control panel. This completes the installation of the inside rear view mirror. For initial programming of the remote control, begin by erasing the memory. Turn the key to position two and switch on the ignition. Hold down the first and third transmit buttons simultaneously for about 20 seconds until the indicator lamp starts to flash quickly. The garage door opener system includes the portable garage door remote control with a transmitter. To program it, point the remote control transmitter at the inside rear view mirror. Hold down the transmit button on the remote control and the desired transmit button on the mirror until the indicator lamp starts to flash quickly for a garage door system with a fixed code. When the transmit button is pressed, the indicator lamp will shine constantly. The garage door will open when the programmed transmit button is pressed. You can check the list of all MB compatible opening and locking systems at www.eurohomelink.com. For a garage door system with a variable code, the door drive unit must be synchronized with the integrated remote control of the inside rear view mirror. After the variable code has been programmed, the indicator lamp will flash quickly for 1.6 seconds and then shine continuously for 1.6 seconds. Press the programming button on the receiver, which in this instance is the Homelink Universal receiver. Inside the vehicle, press the program transmit button. If the indicator lamp on the receiver goes out, it indicates that the synchronization sequence was successful. The garage door can now be opened by pressing the program transmit button. Note that the function indicator lamp at the top of the receiver on the left will light up. From now on, simply get in your car, open the door automatically and drive off.